Oh, I'm a ranger cookie. Just sitting out here in my little chair. Thinking about the clay stove I'm ready to build with me and the grumpy guy. Feels so relaxing. Let's come out here to sit and hear the wind blow through the weeds and the trees and the branches. Listen to all the birds and the animals and the dogs and watching the trees blow, sway back and forth, the gust of wind blowing through my, the, this area. Feeling their cold, cool breeze. Watching the tarp go back and forth with the wind blowing inside or whatever it's doing in there. Just sitting out here in my chair, relaxing, thinking about what I'm going to do next to my camps. What kind of chair I'm going to build. I need to collect more firewood, I think. I don't know. The things I can do out here is unimaginable. I got so much junk I can use to survive with. I can bring that zinc. Zinc, zunk, zunk. Over there. I can take that screen mash and make a shed. Covered my whole area over here. Look at that. I'm gonna put a top right there, keep the sun out. That's the next project I'm gonna do. Keeping that thing out my area. I'm allergic to the sun. I burn really easy. This is my tool shed. I even have a hot water heater if I wanted to make this a hot water heater. I could wrap it in black and tie it way up there in the tree so it'd be hot and have water and water to it. This is my log book. All the people came in and the dates and the time. And here's my crossbow I made a while back and my tools. And over here. Is my zinc. I clean my fish. And uh, if I want to take a shower, I just close my curtains. I just close my curtains like so. I open this one up. I have to take the little ball off, but I can open it all the way across and close this up. Look at a lizard! Hey, you know what you want? <laughs> if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to, I could take my swimming pool and swim in it. I have to clean it out, of course. I have a shower that me and my friend Andrew, I talked him into it to bring this over here as a shower. Because he, he believed in the doomsday. So we brought a shower over here. We have everything here at Hobo. That's why we call it Hobo. I even have little garden lights that work. No, used to work. <laughs> there's one up there. There's one right there. There's one right there. And there's two by the bathrooms that got destroyed because a tree fell. And that's another thing if I, want, if I wanted to. I put a tarp around my retreat. And that's about it. I got all kinds of bricks I can use. All kinds of uh, bricks. I got more bricks over here. And I got my little cups 
stainless steel I can cook out of or drink out of them. Now I used to put a bucket of water here and let them drain into the cup so we have better water than egg water. And we got plenty of bricks around here. All this area has bricks. And over here I got this pressure treated 2x4. And we've got all kinds of little knickknacks that we can use. This is used to be old house porch. It belonged to this chimney right here. And we built all this. This was cluttered. We took some pictures of it. You'll see it in Andrew and my uh in our uh videos. I mean and over here we also got these little plates. They got tons of here, I got a pile over there, and I use those, I'm going to use those for my clay stove. And right here, where Andrew uh, cleaned the old uh, hide, and this is the water hose that goes to the uh, camp base. And I'm going to show you my latrine. Now it's been a while since I made a video out here, see some more of these. Oh, bed frame. It's also good. We try to pull this out, but it's so buried into the ground. We did. We, we didn't bother. We killed 20 trees trying to get that out. And I'll show you our latrine. Yeah, this tree fell, knocking over my lamp and breaking it. And I forgot to put this back in, into the hole here. I've got to put a bucket back over it. But I'm getting dirt. An old bed mattress. And this is the tarp I'm going to put around this area. So we did good. We got a nice little trail. It goes to the back. And we got some wood over here. And some more stuff. Alright, I'm going ahead and end this video. Um, let me show you the other spot before I end it. So old plumbing that used to be here. I'm going to show you some other old plumbing. That, uh, so right here, this is for the uh, sewer pipe. That went to the toilet that was in his house. It was here. And it goes that way, I guess. And uh, Let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, over oh, yeah. here. This is what I wanted to show you. This is where I got that old stove parts that I'm using for my uh, for my clay stove right here. Another stove over there. So some grates I can use for later on if I needed them. And this is where we found the water source. You should have seen this area. This whole area was flooded. And this was just running all the time. It was just and my friend cut the pipe off and made put this piece on there. That we could put a bucket of there and fill it up with water and bring. That's what we used to do. We used to bring a bucket from here to base and just filter it through the machine that we had. And that's about it. Well, oh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy. A closer look at Hobo. See, that's a tarp I'm going to probably put over there to keep that sun out. That sun's really bad for me. And this is, uh... An, oh, yeah. All this trash came from where that building is. We had it here. Then I moved it here. And I was going to throw it in the pool. But Andrew said, hey, wait, wait, wait. We can put fish in there. So we caught a few fish and a few perch. And we threw it in there and hoped they lived. The water is sound where you can live, make them live. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read. I'm going to say this is Ranger Cookie. I'll see you in the next video with me and the grumpy guy. Who <laughs>